The sculpture is anyone who makes things. Got to use your hands, you talk with your hands. It's really what it is, but something three-dimensional comes out of that. Shapes are just like words. Yeah, shapes are my words. I'm Leslie Bruning, I'm a sculptor, living and working in Omaha, Nebraska. In downtown Omaha, the Hot Shops Art Center is part of the city's thriving art scene. Inside is a collective of studios where artists of all types work and collaborate. Les Bruning, one of its founders, is a sculptor known worldwide for his bold designs and vibrant colors. Both my mom and dad grew up on farms in Missouri, and from that generation, they made things. And so growing up, I made things. Today, he's speaking to a group of students who traveled from Kearney to get a peek inside the world of a professional artist. I went to Nebraska Wesleyan and I had kind of a, a boring freshman year, you know, because I was taking biology and things that I wasn't sure why I was in class. My sophomore year, I signed up for a ceramics class and uh, the rest is history. The students are here as part of a grant from the Mid-America Arts Alliance for which Bruning has been commissioned to create a mobile. Metal is heavy, and so most people don't ever think of metal as being light, but if you're making mobiles and using metal, you can make them seem very light and fluid, and a lot of that happens with how things balance. When finished, the mobile will hang in the Merriman Performing Arts Center in Kearney, which was originally built in 1926 and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. I went out to see the space and took pictures of it and looked at it from different angles and thought about, you know, how it's going to fit in that space. His goal is to capture the spirit of Nebraska, and he was inspired by an unlikely source. Well, the, the central part of it is a tumbleweed. If you look at pictures of tumbleweeds or look at the real tumbleweed, you'll see they're translucent. They're dry, they're airier, they're sort of hostile looking. One of the themes that I've always used when I talk about art is the theme of chaos. And then what do you do with chaos? Well, that's, that's what creation is. It's creating something out of chaos. I think tumbleweeds are chaos because they're untamed. I mean, they've been trying to kill those things for hundreds of years, and, and they can't do it. They just randomly go wherever they want, you know, so that, that's really chaos. The piece, called Nebraska Symphony, manages the chaos through a delicate balancing act, creating a kinetic sculpture in constant motion you know, one of the ideas is that wind affects everything in Nebraska. The main structure of the piece is a spiral, invoking the tornado-like dust devils Bruning remembers chasing as a kid while growing up in the panhandle of Nebraska. The thing about a mobile is you want it to be able to move, but you don't need fast movement. Each one of these has a, a loose connection so that it self-balances. Now just the movement of the air in the building, opening the door, will create a light movement in at all times, and then it'll gently go up and down this way. That's the Nebraska wind. All right, we got all these on. Yeah, always have to twist them to get them on. Look at that one, isn't that nice? Today was installation day, which is always uh, sort of the climax of uh, many months of work. Mainly it turned out how I envisioned it, but I didn't know how I was going to get there when I started. Okay, we want it like this. It was super exciting because just seeing the idea first and then finally getting to see it as a huge thing, I think it's really cool that we got to see how it was broken down into pieces and how we could assemble it all together rather than just like a drawing on a piece of paper. I 
think the concept of like doing like wind and like Nebraska, I guess, like kind of like exploring that as a concept is really cool. It's very like iconic to like Nebraska and I guess just the Midwest in general, like wind and it's like the tumbleweed and the empty landscape. One thing I find interesting is like the use of glass though, because you don't really like associate that with a tumbleweed, I guess. It's very like delicate, but I think it worked out well. What surprised me most about the finished piece was how big it was. Cause I thought it was gonna be like a medium sized like chandelier kind of thing. And it's pretty big. We knew we had this soaring two story lobby that deserved really a wonderful piece of art and the fact that it's kinetic and it catches the light, it's just wonderful. Like I tell my wife, the easiest thing I do is go to work because I'm completely free at work. But it's always take it to the end and, and, uh, and do it right.